Hello everybody and welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down the Vanderbilt 2020 football schedule. Vanderbilt last year did not have a very good year. They only had a few wins on the season. It just was not a great season for them overall. I believe they only had one SEC win overall. Uh, just very disappointing season. Definitely a step back from the year before where they went to the Texas Bowl I believe. So you know it was definitely a step back. Uh, you know, Vanderbilt's not a school known for their football program. It's mainly baseball and academics, of course. It's not usually a football school. Uh, but I decided I would break down their schedule. Schedule Again, they're usually one of the worst teams in the SEC year in and year out. They're probably the worst besides Arkansas. But I, would, I decided I would break down their schedule. Number one, Mercer. It's an FCS school. They'll get this one done pretty easily. Uh, really just no doubt about that one. That's an easy win. Uh, number two, Missouri. I think they might have beaten Missouri actually last year. So this one could be close. It's at Missouri. I think Missouri is a pretty average SEC school. Not anything special. It could be close. I would take Missouri though. Three at Kansas State. I think Kansas State's a pretty good Big 12 team. I'll take Kansas State here to win this one. Colorado State. Uh, you know, not that great of a football program in my opinion. Pretty average. It's at Vanderbilt. I'll take Vanderbilt in a close one. Definitely can be close, but I think Vanderbilt's the better program overall. Five at Georgia. Yeah, no, that's not happening. That's definitely not happening. Uh, they'll lose to Georgia by quite a lot. Six, Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss got Lane Kiffin. They should be pretty good. Definitely well coached, and I think Kiffin's going to bring in bring in a lot of talent soon enough. Uh, so I think Ole Miss will beat them pretty easily. Not much of a challenge for Ole Miss, in my opinion. At Kentucky, you know, Kentucky's got Joey Gatewood now, a pretty good recruiting class. I think overall they're going to be a good team this upcoming season. Uh, so I like Kentucky here. Any bye week? Okay, okay time to have your bye week near the middle of the season. Nine, South Carolina. Uh, you know, South Carolina went four and eight last year, but I think they were a lot better than their seg than their uh, record suggested. Their schedule was the toughest in all of college football by far. They had to play Clemson, they had to play Alabama, they had to play Florida, they had to play Georgia, Texas Texas A and M. The list goes on and on. Uh, so South Carolina had a really tough schedule. I think they're going to be like a seven and five team this upcoming season, maybe something like that. Still a very tough schedule, obviously, but it might be a little bit easier. I'll take South Carolina here. 10 Florida, I, this is a game like Georgia. I really just don't need to explain whatsoever. It, it's going to be Florida, no no doubt about it. 11 at Texas A&M, same as Florida and Georgia. They're just not going to win this one, not a chance. 12 Louisiana Tech, so their last out-of-conference opponent. Listen, you would think this is a cupcake school, but this Conference USA team is actually pretty good. They shut out Miami in their bowl game last year, 14 nothing. so that was a pretty good way to end the season. Uh, and I think they're my favorite to win the Conference USA for this upcoming season. I think they're a pretty good football team overall. I think they're going to upset Vandy, if it is considered an upset. I don't know who will be who will be favored in that game. But I'm going to take Louisiana, Louisiana Tech to win in a close one, actually. 13 Tennessee. They're not going to beat their rival. Tennessee is going to be very good this upcoming season. I have the balls winning. So overall, I have them at 2-10. and 10. A win against Mercer and Colorado State. They might get one SEC win, so it could be 3-9 and nine as well. They might get a fluke win against Missouri or South Carolina or maybe even Ole Miss, something like that. But overall, I think they're 2-10. and 10. I just don't think Vanderbilt's a very good pro football program. There's not much talk about them. You know, the... The biggest thing I know about Vanderbilt football is when their quarterback said we want Bama and they got destroyed. That's really it. There's not much to, to too much to the program besides that. Uh, but yeah, I have them at two and ten. I really don't think they're going to be very good next season. Uh, they don't have. Doesn't look like they're going to have much improvement on the coaching staff or talent wise. So yeah, two and ten. Uh, not a great season again, but you know. It is what it is. They still have a great baseball program and great academics, at least. Uh, but that is it for now. Thank you for joining in. And please make sure to like and subscribe, guys. I would really appreciate it.